Hello and welcome back to Last Spell. We're uh, we're starting Lakeburg. I'm probably gonna do like one combat and then uh, do some town management, and that'll be the episode. Hope you don't mind these hour hour long episodes. They're kind of a double edged sword because on one hand, uh, they don't really cover a lot of gameplay, and on the other end, they're very long. So we'll we'll see. I'll see how things go. So right now we're only worrying about um, one direction, not the band, um, just, just just this uh, just this wall, and we're gonna move some guys in here. I do want to try some new weapons. I was uh, watching someone else play the game, trying not to spoil myself too much. Just uh, I actually watched them play the first area specifically, so I could kind of um, gauge how they approach certain situations differently. And I did notice that crossbows um, have poison, so that's where I get poison. They were also making huge, uh, taking huge advantage of the switching um, their loadout, which does seem compelling. It, it's a, there's a compelling case to be made for giving everyone a different set of equipment. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it because it means you have to spread their stats out a little bit more instead of specializing them. Like, for instance, uh, you know, range damage is different from magic damage is different from physical damage, right? But on the other hand, mana is shared between different loadouts, and giving them different weapons does mean that you offer them a bit more flexibility for a given circumstance. So maybe there is something to be said about uh, offering them a bit more, uh, you know, flexibility. I was thinking of between... Sorry, I haven't started yet, but I, I just want to get a few things out of the way. Uh, I was thinking of before or after the last session i was going to redo gildenberg or whatever it's called in my off time just to grind up a little bit of uh, tainted essence it would be a, a fun way of just kind of like giving me an an, an extra edge to do this uh, to, to, to do lakeberg um, but i decided not to i figured we'll, we'll treat this game like a quotation marks roguelite um and and play it as i guess intended although i'm not sure maybe grinding is part of the intention so uh, let's just go ahead and end our deployment phase and uh, see what was happening. I should uh, I should have positioned them behind the walls, but if we can stop the walls from taking any damage, then we will reduce uh, highly reduce the uh, amount of panic, and therefore get more rewards. So I'm going to do it like this for now. Um, we'll start by throwing out a lightning bolt here. I guess I could have done it on one end and maybe... I don't know how, how much do we have propagation? Nine. We have an 85% chance of propagation times nine. So I may have messed that up a little bit. Uh, that's okay. It's it's a practice mistake, you know. Um, let's see what we can do with our good lad here. Well, we can pick up the slack here by doing a good old... What do you call it? Tight volley. Tight volley is going to do, do some good work. And unfortunately, Lamas, uh, he's he's a little bit farther away. So maybe maybe I'll just um, we can't do another type volley. Maybe I'll move over a little bit in this direction so that I can do a rain of arrows in the right in the right direction here. That's that's not bad. That's pretty good. And then we can move forward and hit this one guy with a power shot. Cool. Uh, and now Lamas, uh, Lamas has got, he's a, he's our hammer bro. Um, he's going to come over here and, and do some damage. We're back to, uh, back to basics. You know, we know that a bash can pretty much take out anything. And that's about it. We can't be sure that enemies won't come in here. So I'm going to up their defense. Unfortunately, I probably put Fleur here in, in, in a Fleur. Fleur in in danger, so that might not be good. Let's hope that it, they aren't in too much danger. Oh, well, they got some extra armor. I did take that armor omen, and so they get a passive armor bonus, and that's going to come in handy for sure. Let's back them up. Let's open up with a lightning strike, and maybe we'll do a better lightning strike this time. I'll put it in the center like this. Just uh, to up our odds. That was pretty good. Uh, and then we'll do... I wanted to do a... I want to do a good fireball. Very good fireball. And then we have one more strike left. We'll try and leave some enemies over here for... Uh, for Lamas. 
good stuff good stuff maybe we'll back him up a little bit uh now um fleur fleur is gonna do some stuff what will fleur do well fleur i think i see a pretty good lineup for the reign of arrows but should we do some other stuff first maybe we can kill these guys uh that might have been a mistake because now i can only do either a tight volley and also she didn't kill it uh oops oh well all right rain of arrows i'm seeing i was seeing a good rain of arrows over here and it's not bad could it be better sure my outfit's full of something she doesn't look like she's wearing pants all right we need to we need to kill these lads um yeah we could do a stomp i like that stomp we only well we only stunned one uh let's try it again yeah okay that's what we wanted to see and um i'm gonna i'm gonna come over here and kill this lad nothing too exciting unfortunately we'll move back a little bit Fleur is exactly where she can be um we're blowing through our mana but that's fine i, d I think i will prioritize mana in this game oh no so that's going to create a little bit of panic we, we this is no longer a flawless run shoot all right let's open up i like the lightning strike because it kind of like um it decides for me how I'm going to spend the rest of my turn. That was good. Uh, actually, could have been much better. Not a huge fan of that. Um, okay, okay. Uh, we could kill four. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's bad. And I didn't kill him. Oh my god. Okay, that's bad. Uh, I didn't mean to do that either, so let's undo that. At least we can undo movement. Let's let's back up Fleur, and then maybe she can cull a little bit of this. Nice. Um... Definitely want to kill these lads over here before they cause more panic. And then we'll do... Oh, we don't have enough mana for a tight volley? Why can't we do a tight volley? Oh, we don't have enough action points. Oops. Let's just kill something. And then Lamas, I definitely want to kill this, uh, this dude here. He unfortunately takes two attacks. And then, um, we'll come here. This is, might, might, might not be a great idea, but we'll come here and, and, and we'll, uh, do a bash or stomp or whatever it's called. Stomp. I have no more movement left, but we can, we should be able to kill this lad. There we go. Uh, unfortunately that means he can't generate any armor for himself. Pretty sure the most he can get attacked by is one creature though. So it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and do Lamas first, um, just because it's easy. Kill him. Kill him. Over here. Kill him. Kill him. This guy's not dead, but we have one more bash. Um, so let's... Uh, actually, let's, let's do our lightning bolt. I like this guy here. Yeah, I figured it would either be really good or not great. Um, I'm going to move Floor back a bit because I think this is a good enough use of Fireball. Kill one more thing. I don't like this flying dude. He's a... Uh, I don't like that he's like straying a little bit away. Okay, we'll, we'll use a tight volley to kill these three dudes at the very least. Nice kill. And then we can maybe power shot? No power shot. We should be able to kill him though. Nice. Okay. 
Uh, that was almost flawless. Why isn't it over? Oh, there's one more dude. I'll kill him. I didn't see him. He was behind the lamppost. Wow, he's not dead. So he's gonna get to do one more thing before uh, before we're done. All right, there we go. So I am definitely gonna have to spend a bit of time recovering our mana. Everyone leveled up. That's the important thing. S rank, nice. So I guess I was wrong. That was only a 10 minute combat. But make no mistake, this next part's gonna take a little bit longer. We got some, we got a nice chunk of essence. That's good. Oh my god. Three already? I mean, okay. Uh, let's see if we can buy anything with our tainted, our tainted essence. Welcome to the Oraculum, Commander. Um, what is the Oraculum? What are these tainted essence? Tell me about the other one. What is the Oraculum? This is a space the other one created to reach you. Or did you create it? Anyway, I'm just borrowing it. A place between dreams and truths. A convergence of your own echoes and yours into eternity. It's rather convenient seeing the situation you put yourself in. Death has no meaning here. Will you sell yours? Yeah, yeah, I'll sell them. Uh, we don't have enough to buy any of the good stuff, like weapons production buildings. That would be really nice. Stone walls, though. That could be cool. Um, I might just, like, hoard my points for now. We could buy some cool stuff like axes and daggers though. Let's get a hand crossbow. I saw the I saw someone else using them and they are actually really, really nice. I'll buy some I'll buy a longbow as well. I guess I'm not gonna hoard my points. We're just gonna spend them because these uh these weapons aren't just like variety, they're also just like really good. Um we'll buy a pistol, sure. So we can buy a magic orb and stuff now. I I shouldn't have been so hesitant to use those. Um, so I don't think we've unlocked anything over here. Achieved. Shows all achievable. Ah, here we go. New items can now appear in your runs. Oh, uh, oh, I see. All achievable. I was, I, I was wondering, I guess the ones that I can actually, like, I've, I've already done are at the top. So never mind. All right, let's uh, this is this is a kind of a very pivotal moment here um, because I we're going to level up, but I kind of want to recover our mana and we're going to need a mana. Well, we only have two workers right now. We have to do our level best to improve how many workers we have as quickly as possible. Um, so we could first of all upgrade our houses. We only have two houses. So we could spend 80 to improve, increase the workers by two. And that's good. We'll probably get that back. Mm, not really, but it's not awful. Um, I guess we'll have to, we have to make a bit of money back if we want to build some houses. And I do want to build some houses. So yeah, let's, um, Ritz, can we, we can raise this for one gold. Um, what about this? This is four. So well, why don't we use all of our workers to raise this and we'll get a chunk of money and then hopefully we can build another house. Yes. In fact, we could build two houses, but I also want to build a mana well. That's important. I'll build it close-ish. Actually, right there is not bad because it uses up very little space. Um, we could build another one, but I do. I, I think we. I want to build two houses. This seems. This sounds kind of dark, but I wouldn't mind putting them on either side of the la the the ritual, in order to potentially block, uh, you know, zombies coming in. So we're, we're block we're using houses to block the the ritual from happening. Um, 
All right, now we've pretty much spent all of our money right away. Let's go ahead and level up our, our characters. We have nothing. This is Lamas, so uh, extra damage is going to serve him well. Uh, just realize, since we have no money, that means we can't recover. Oh, we have we have two workers left. Okay, perfect. Um, we could get some money back from that, but I honestly think that getting back some mana would be ideal. Why don't we recover eight mana? It's not a full amount. Uther's the one, yeah, Uther's the one that spends mana like a, very heavily. We could give him extra mana, but I honestly think that extra worker would be better spent um, raising one of these wells. Not only do these wells uh, give us some money, but also they're taking up space. But they, they are only giving us 12 gold, so I don't know. Is it actually worth it? We could also, um, I don't know. We can, I don't, I think we can leave these corpses to fester and then they'll give us some more gold later down the line. So why don't we just go ahead and scavenge this well? I don't know. Like, I don't think there are any bad choices. There's just better choices and I'm not sure what the better choices are just yet. Um, I kind of want to re-roll this but I actually I don't mind giving Lama some more armor uh, magic damage is not gonna really be good for him what is this thing uh, he has more health more resistance less daily mana regen uh, less hate a daily health regen that's awful for him and less block wow yeah he's uh, he's not doing well in some of these stat departments we could give him back some of that daily health regen. That's not a terrible idea. Or I could re-roll and we could try and get something better. Let's let's re-roll. Healing received. This is awful still. Wow. All of this sucks. I should have just gone with uh, getting that daily health. That would have been better than any of this. Um, I mean, I guess I'll give him magic damage. Maybe we can get him a, like a little pistol spell caster. Um, we'll give him unlock sprint skill, allowing to restore move points in exchange for some health. Really? You can do it twice per turn. So it costs 10 health to do this but it, then they gain some movement that sounds i think it probably would be a good idea every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit means restore some one action point wouldn't be a bad idea to use that because that means that uh, basically yeah every second wasted attack means he gets an extra attack extra stun chance sounds really good Whenever the hero is adjacent to a building, defense, or obstacle, plus 25 armor, increased by 5 for each level. That sounds amazing. This sounds amazing. Armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's get that stun effect. That sounds really good. Okay, that's Lamas. Fleur. Level them up. They are healthy. They receive more healing. They have a better chance to crit. They have a really good chance to crit and extra damage. So yeah, this is a really good hero. Excellent hero. Um, wouldn't mind. Let's just give him that health. I want to give this character some survivability if I possibly can. Um, daily mana regen is not a terrible thing for them. They will definitely use that. Although crit power. Multiplied a multiplier applied to the damage of a critical hit. Yeah, let's give that to them since they seem to be very crit happy. Unlocks the fatality skill, allowing to execute any number, any enemy in melee range under 10 health. It is increased by three for each level of the hero. This is actually a really good skill that I, I very much squandered in the last um, town. Every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. Not a terrible idea for them. Every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit. This is actually great for them, but maybe I won't take it just yet. 
when attacking an isolated unit the attack gets plus 40 percent reliability honestly cherry picking in combination with perseverance is actually very good because the reliability as far as i know doesn't doesn't mean reliability in hitting the monster it means reliability in how much damage you do so we would increase our chance of hitting uh of of doing more damage to an isolated creature um and the isolated creatures are tend tend to be the one that i miss the most because i'm i'm usually shooting for something with high dodge so that's actually really tempting um let's get this perseverance because i i haven't really made much use of that and it's good in combination with uh, with Fleur because um, they have a lot of AoE attacks and uh, they can get dodged quite a bit. So that, that might pop off quite a, a few times. And then Uth Uthred, who is our resident uh, nerd, plus one equipment bag slot, back protection. Whenever the hero is adjacent to a building, defense, or obstacle. This might be very good for him, actually, um, because... You know, he's got that range. Every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. Uh, yeah. Let's get that. We're definitely going to need some more mana regen for that hero. Okay, uh, wait, Uhtred's still not leveled up? Oh, I didn't give him, I didn't give him his, uh, okay. Um, extra accuracy, extra armor might be nice for them. Yeah, let's give him extra armor. I know critical and health. I know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I sure health. I, I I like if it's just a good stat. Why not go for the rare? You know. Oh heck yeah, daily mana regen. Absolutely daily mana re regen. Perfect. That's that's fantastic. This guy's got pickpocket. He gets negative thirty armor. Oh my god. Okay, and we get an item. There's a lot of upkeep between these rounds. Wow, two epics. Uh, plus one skill range, plus 8% momentum, plus one propagation bonus. This would be good for uh, Uhtred. Really good for Uhtred. Um, plus one move points, plus 10% critical power, plus 6% damage, plus 3% resistance, extra dodge. I'm going to go for this. That's really good. It's This is amazing, actually. Um, and we're going to give that to, uh, Fleur because she's got that, she's got that crit. Um, let's absolutely give her that. She, she loves to crit. You love to see it. Um, we, there's actually, there is character customization, by the way. Uh, you can like really get you know, into making your characters. If I was playing this on uh, on uh, stream, then I could make these characters kind of look like my, my chat mates and name them after them. I, I think that would be kind of fun. Apparently, I just got an achievement for even opening that menu. That's fun. Uh, all right, so anything else? We don't really have enough to buy any gear. Oh, we have to build some structures still. Uh, let's sell this. Let's see, can we buy a hand crossbow? That would be amazing. Offhand wand. Offhand wand. Yeah. I'm going to buy an offhand wand. I was joking. I was joking, but I think Lamas with the offhand wand would be kind of hilarious and amazing. The offhand weapon gets a is free, remember? So they get to use this once per turn. And this is sort of Democles. So they get a free sort of Democles every turn. And they actually have pretty good um, magic damage, 108%. So this is not terrible for them. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that kit. Now we do need to build some defenses. Um, uh, let's just start with a basic perimeter. We can upgrade later if need be. Um, that's blown through quite a bit already. I, I guess I should, uh, try and make some gates. We could do a wooden gate. How do I rotate? Uh, 
I don't know how to I don't know how to rotate it. Hmm. Uh let me look at the settings. Controls. General. Battle. What about building? Open stuff. Turbo mode. Oh right. I, I did know that that was a thing. I don't really like it. It looks really janky to me. Primary second. How to play. How about that? Production? Uh, not seeing it. What about construction? There's got to be a way to rotate the gate. Uh, you know what? It's going to be something dumb like I don't have to. <gasps> oh, right. We can build ballistas. Let's build one here. Really hoping that that thing rotates. I'm hoping that range actually means something, you know? Um, okay, we can build another one. Let's build another one. Build one here behind a uh, potential wall that we're going to build. Okay, cool. Um, now let's just go ahead and place some people down. Really should have built a gate. I'm very annoyed that I forgot to build a gate. Uh, let's put our hammer lad a little bit forward and I'm gonna hope that they don't like I guess there there's there's no Good way that this can go, but let's go ahead and do this End phase The Sun is fading brace yourselves. Oh my god Yeah, so the ballistas are kind of like passive damage per round Oh, we're already dealing with armored lads. That's not good. Wow, really? One propagation? That sucks. Um, there's not really a perfect uh, fireball situation, so I'll, I'll throw it down here. Actually, there it would be better, I guess, because then we can kill two armor lads, maybe. There we go. Nice. Uh, Lamas has better stun chance now, so hopefully he can um, stun these lads and bottleneck this whole area here. Yes. Yes. Let's uh, use that sort of Democles. Nice. Free kill per round is actually going to be really nice. Um, I'm gonna move. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna move here and then I'm gonna use another stomp Nice look how many I stunned that's so good Um, we could do some fun stuff here with a rain of arrows But I am conscientious of the fact that there's guys on the left side here that are gonna create a problem for me Let's undo that. Um, let's let's try and make the most of our turn. I do want to do a rain of arrows, so why not just do it first? Um, there's a that's not bad. Let's do that. Nice. And why not? We'll do a tight volley here just to finish some of these guys off. Um, actually, maybe that's not a great idea because I, I those, those guys are kind of serving a purpose right now, right? So we'll, we'll hit that guy. Oh, we missed. Oh Well, at least we get our action point back Okay, well I was gonna try and do some more stuff to these guys over here, but that's fine. I do miss the ability to give our lad transfer so that we can give our allies more health. It's okay. He's got armor. He's all, he's all right. He's okay. <laughs> What's it? Lance Murdoch. He's all right, everyone. 
All right, let's start on a good note here. Take that. And then we'll continue this stun wall here so that they have to bleed over to the other side. Sword of Democles. Oh, that was not it, actually. I'm just going to kill a lad and then back out. Let's kill this lad. And I want to do some stuff over there, but I kind of want to kill these two lads first. So I'm going to have to move down. Uh, that's fine. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's uh let's move over here and see if we can't get a nice juicy rain of arrows. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, get them crits. Get them crits. Uh, Alright, let's start with a fireball here. Actually, you know what? We shouldn't use mana just for the sake of using mana. Um, I do want to use a lightning strike to kind of chain combo this area a little bit. But maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we'll, we don't need to, so... Oh god. Okay. I just when I'm like trying to play conservatively. This guy's got 38 health and okay, I should be able to kill him unless I miss. <laughs> okay, well, uh our lad Utred might take a hit, but he can take a hit. He's good. Okay, let's start actually with a rain of arrows because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a, a full one off here. No? Okay, there's a full one over there. So why don't we do a tight volley first? And then we'll, um, I don't know, we'll kill like one more dude. And then we'll move over here and get a tight uh, a rain of arrows done. Nice. And I actually got an extra action point because I missed a couple of them. We can increase our evasion. But I, I think we should just like kill something. Well, that was not it. That's fine. It's okay, you don't- killing something is not necessarily the end-all be-all. Definitely it's what we want, but it's not the end of the world if we don't kill. Okay, this is- the questionable- questionable decisions are being made right now. That was not a kill. Okay, uh, we can move our lad out of there. Let's do that. Wait a minute, who's still got... Uhtred's still got points. I, I didn't even use him. That's my bad. Let's, uh, let's try this. All right, that's, that's better. Now things are a bit more comfortable. I love the music in this game. I know everyone says that, but it really is good. Okay, killing him was actually great. I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking is like a lot of ballistas, not just the one. Okay, I actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this lad here. Uh, I'm going to kill this lad here. All right, you know what? I'm going to kill this lad here. And I want to stomp like this. Okay, we missed... I think we missed two. And I don't think we stunned like any. This guy 
avoided a stun twice. What an absolute lad. Can you avoid my sword of Democles though? No, no, you can't. Uh, so we don't have enough mana for a lightning strike. That's really bad. Let's see if we can't kill this lad. Almost, I almost uh, used another spell. Um, I'm glad I didn't because I, I could do one more fireball and that's pretty good. Uh, I won't lie, things are not looking super good right now. They're not as healthy as like the first night in, in Glintvale or whatever it's called. These stone walls have a lot of health though, so that's good. Okay, what can we do? Do we have a do we have a really comfortable Ah, that's a really good rain of arrows right there. But we did destroy some of our castle. That's fine. Okay, we'll finish these guys off with a nice bash. Nice. Uh, okay, this these guys will probably take it. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm glad I'm kind of glad it took two shots. Otherwise, it would have been a waste of time going over there. Um, look, can we power shot that lad? Nice. All right. Uh, and now we just need to take care of business over here. Oh god. Hoping uh, hoping he attacks me and not the wall. I want I want my rewards. Never mind, he went straight for the wall. But luckily we have a ballista. Yeah, I'm thinking a wall of ballistas would be really nice. Someone out there like, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't it be great if you just had a wall of ballistas and you didn't have to worry about any of the tactics all right well that wasn't terrible we did it wasn't flawless but it was pretty good s tier still so that's good we generated a very tiny amount of panic But I guess if it doesn't reach this, like, first one, um, then, uh, you know, it, we're still good. Okay. So I guess those corpses on the right side disappear. I thought maybe they didn't disappear, but okay, never mind. So this is going to be nasty. I'm thinking maybe um, we put the ranger in the corner again because that's not a terrible thing. Let's get our item first before we do anything else. Ooh, what is this? Draining crystal. Less experience gained, but more move points and more stun chance. Well, I could definitely think of one person that would benefit. Strong focus. What does strong focus do? Self targets affects gives you two action points so uh does that mean at the cost of six mana and two movement we can get two action points that sounds dicey i don't know if i like this crystal uh extra dodge ac extra accuracy could be good um extra damage less accuracy isolation more block kind of like this kind of like this specifically for fleur because um missing is not a big deal for her because she gets some action points back and she gets some extra armor she'd do some extra damage it's not a huge dip in accuracy and the damage to isolation would be good so let's do that and she's finally gonna get some pants wait what 
Can she not wear pants? What? Why can't she wear pants? I am confused on that one. Do we, what do we need to uh, get her to wear pants? Clearly it goes here, but how does one... Hmm. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we give it to anyone else? Okay, so he can wear pants. Why can't Floor wear pants? That just seems uncalled for. All right, well, okay, so she can't wear pants. That sucks. Um, we could give it to Lamas. Lamas tends to do a little bit of cleanup, but so does Uhtred. Let's give it to Uhtred, even though that loss in accuracy kind of sucks. His current pants are giving him armor and accuracy. So yeah, this would actually be a huge dip for him. Um, what about Lamas? Lamas is getting mana. Let's give those maybe considered. No, I don't like those pants at all. I don't think they're that good. Okay, let's uh, level up our characters. Lamas, what do you want? Extra armor? Extra damage, maybe. Let's take extra damage. Extra range damage is interesting, although it's not really going to do much for him. I kind of like the idea of giving him more magic damage, but I honestly think we should just reroll these. Uh, well, the last time I rerolled from the first one, I regretted it, so maybe we give him mana. He did. He doesn't have mana right now, so I guess mana. Maybe uh, a little bit of a waste, but it is what it is. I think. Uh, I don't think back protection is going to do it for him because he he's really tends to be out in the wild doing stuff. What is this contamination? Unlocks a contamination skill, allowing to apply cont contagion to the target. When the unit dies, all of its negative alterations are applied to two random adjacent units that are not already contagious. Stun transfer can still fail because of stun resistance. This seems really cool. Um, kind of tempted on that, honestly. Plus one use per night for every consumable item. Extra critical. Let's try this, um... Oh, wait, enemies... Enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to this hero, as if they were the killer. Interesting. I like this contamination. Let's go for that. Unlocks the mark skill, allowing the Deba. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these. Wait a minute, what is this? Every 10 plus uh, 10 max health after 100 plus one physical damage. This one seems actually really good. Why don't we just take that? Cause that's an easy get. And then we'll, we'll, we'll focus on giving him health. We have two more level ups to do. I don't know why I bailed out of that menu. Uh, Fleur, what could Fleur use more of? More, uh, this is physical damage. No, it's just damage. If every attack. Negates flat reduction a portion of incoming damage. Let's give her block. That sounds fine. That's just like a she she will benefit from that stun chance is fine um, But I don't think she can do anything like that. I don't know how to do any momentum stuff. I don't think that she can I There's so many things here that she can't use. Let's just reroll. I'm going to give her poison damage, and I know that sounds... Actually, no, no, let's give her isolation. That would be better. I was going to give her poison damage because I, I kind of want to try crossbows. When attacking an isolated unit, the attacker gets plus 40% reliability. Well, since we just took um, isolation, let's go... Let's, let's double down. Um, Uhtred is very slowly becoming our tank. But I don't know if I want that to be the case. I, I, the armor is welcomed, but he needs more mana. Uh, none of this is very good for him. Daily mana regen. There we go. That's good. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. 
So that would mean that he would honestly, we would, we'd be like incentivized to not use our mana spells. I don't think I like that. Poisonous. At the end of the hero's turn, apply 35 poison to all enemies within a range of three. Interesting. When applying poison to a unit currently poisoned, also apply stunned. Okay, so this guy, Uhtred, could just like become the poison master. But he'd have to like really get in there. I actually am starting to wonder. He's got the armor. He does have mana regen. That's the, I've given him mana regen. That's the only reason I wouldn't consider this. But I might consider swapping him and uh, Lamas or whatever his name is. Because like this guy now has the makings of a very good tank. Especially if I take this poison route. And in fact, this harvester doubles with um with it. I, I kind of think I should. I don't know. Whenever the hero is hit, automatically cast spiky counter on the attacker with a base damage equal to fifty plus twenty percent of the hero's block. Oh, this is so tempting. Even though it's dumb. <laughs> but I like it better than a lot of the other things I'm seeing. So, I don't know. Poisonous, we can just treat it like a... Like, back protection, yeah, sure. But he's already got a ton of armor, so I don't know what the point is of giving him more armor. Um, let's let's uh, consider swapping. Let's uh, at least, like, look at it. So, like, if we took off the rusty hammer and in fact we may as well give uh well no that's uh yeah you know what we'll give lamas the the wand and we'll take this book and give him a hammer we'll see we'll see how this goes maybe maybe it's an awful decision but it could be really cool oh the book takes up two hand slots that sucks okay so utrid will use the offhand weapon the offhand wand but you know we uh we gain a couple of things here a couple of interesting things i mean lamas needs more mana but he doesn't have much less mana than utrid right now so i don't think that there's really a big loss here um Maybe I'll swap their pants. Uhtred is... Uh, he's got some extra armor and accuracy. Yeah, let's uh, give him... Actually, let's give him this extra mana pants. And we'll give... Wait, no. Other way around. He actually had the right pants. I'm getting confused now. And Lamas... We'll give him this extra mana pants. And I guess Uhtred will give these cool... Pants too. Although, I don't know. Hey, it's, it's it's kind of a kind of a big whatever. All right, sorry, we, we, that was a lot of time spent deliberating over that, but swapping them seems like a good idea. I feel like Uhtred is a better tank now than Lamas. Welcome to the Oraculum Commander. What are these tainted essence? A pure, wild, and oh so delicious form of what you gullible humans call magic, born of uh, hybris and envy, pride and jealousy. I've, it's been corrupted, though. I am sure that you saw the effect it has on boring living things. Quite entertaining. Would you trust this man or woman? I don't think I would. Axe, dagger, two-handed swords. Ah, here we go. Crossbow. Magic orbs. Sure. Tower staves. Why not? I didn't mean to do that. I have now spent a bunch of mana or uh, essence on additional potions. I didn't really want that. Undo that, please. Please give me my essence back. I does I, I would like a refund, sir and or madam. Okay, well that's fine. Um. Okay. Build structures. Now we have to play the worker placement game. We have six workers. Uh, how much to upgrade? It would cost 70 gold to upgrade. I honestly think that building more houses would be better. You get 
one worker for uh, one house. So it's 40 gold to get one worker back. Um, we can also spend some gold to in improve the mana well. I think we should, at the very least, give it uh, improve its benediction. So we'll do that. Um, and now... Who is it? Lamas is the one who needs more mana. Lamas needs more mana. Give the man his mana. All right. Let's call. We'll, we'll say that's it for that. Just for now, because I'm not confident I have enough workers to do all of the things I need to do. Um, I wouldn't mind getting more materials. I know it means we get less gold, but I wouldn't mind building some more uh, ballistas. So we can do that and we'll get a little bit of gold from, um, one of these things. And then let's build a couple of houses. I, I think that scavenger camps might be a good idea this time around as well. There's definitely a lot of things that we need to build. Uh, we can't actually build any more houses. This is a good thing to know. So let's build some mines. Mines are very good, um, and they're going to make us a bit of passive income. You know, you got to get on that hustle grind set. We'll, we'll get a little bit of uh, extra mineage, and I wouldn't mind, like, well, we'll that's, like, I know I spent everything on that, and we'll get some scavenging uh, camps in the next production phase, because I wouldn't mind getting more materials, uh, but I think we have enough for now. Um, so let's do a bit of defenses. I definitely want a gate like here. We'll do like here and, uh, and here. I don't know. Sure. And you know what? I'm going to hope that I don't have to rotate these. I'm just going to hope because Lord, this would be dumb. Please. No. Why? How do you rotate them? Oh my god. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pause and try and figure this out. I hate that. Okay, I figured it out. Um, I don't like the system, I will say. I think it, it is not good. The, uh, the devs, or at least someone from the devs have, have argued with people that th this is the way they want to do it. And that's fine if it, you know, that's, you know, it's, it's such a minor thing to nitpick, but I think that enough people have complained about it that it probably should have an option but basically the way you build things is very um contextual so like if i have a wall here and like it it's not good that it shows you one way when it's going to snap the other way uh you know then when i build this gate where's the gate there then it'll snap to the the adjacent walls um now that i know that i'll i'll be able to work with that but i do think that it's not very well conveyed and it's not explained anywhere, which um, I, I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, it's 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 fine. It's not a big deal. Um, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of ballistas here and here. Um, it seems to me like some that that stone wall is actually blocking the ballista, which kind of sucks. I know that you can, uh, when you place your ballistas, they're unaffected by walls, but it seems like the stone walls are not uh, not the same. It's not the same uh, thing going on. I'm a little bit worried about he over here, so I am going to put a couple of things just to create a bottleneck and protect some of these houses. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. I wish I could have done one more combat phase, but, um, you know, they, they, they are long and I'm, I'm fully aware of, like, just how much there is. I guess I could have put maybe some of my hero, eh, whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna put uh, my hero, um, Lamas over there. And Fleur, we should probably buy a new hero, like another hero pretty soon. 
Fleur, I'm going to put over here and she should be able to move back over here, you know, if things get tense. And then Uhtred is... Uhtred's going to have to, you know, do um, a lot of the heavy lifting on this wave here. So that's going to be spooky. Actually, no, Uhtred's the tank. Um, I feel like what's scarier is Lamas here. Maybe I should put Uhtred here and Lamas here. Okay, so this is how I'll play it when I do play it. Um, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.